A lot of guys want me to help them fish, whether it's explaining what I'm doing, explaining gear tutorials, whatever it is. But there's also a lot of guys that want to go fishing with me. They want me to take them out. Well, that's fine. I've had a guide license since 2016. I ran a guide company for a little while, didn't enjoy it. I just wanted to fish. I have a different audience now. I have a different relationship with an audience that I have now. And I don't mind taking guys out to get on fish. First thing I did was took an opportunity to buy a pontoon boat that has a flat deck with forward facing bass seats. I'll show you pictures of that boat right here. And you guys can check it out. Got that boat in storage. I've had it since September. Decided probably don't want to build that boat out after all. My little fishing boat that you guys see me on is way too small for two people. I can't take a bunch of folks on that boat. We'll all drown. I don't want to be fishing nobody out of the drink. So we're going to have to do something different. I ran across a fella, watches my channel. Really nice gentleman. Has a boat, might be suitable for me to both fish out of and take clients out on. So today I'm up here by Lake Texoma. Came up here to look at this boat. I'm going to get out here and take a look at it see if it's suitable for me, see what kind of deal we can make, and hopefully it's a bigger platform I can take you guys out on if you want to come fish with me. Well, there it is, guys. Look. It's a Blazer, guys. What is that? Blazer 202? 202 Blazer 202. 200 horse Merc. Let's get it out of the shed. Hook it on the truck. Pull her out. Let's get back here and see what we got. Look at this. Woo! She's pretty. That's a pretty one right there. Look at that. 200 horse Merc. This gentleman says this boat runs 80 miles an hour. Y'all don't want me with a boat that runs 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Nice. 202 Pro V. It's got a Min, Min Kota Ultrax up front. It's got the all aboard marine uh, transducer mount already on it for live scope. She looks good, guys. Woo, she looks good. There's Mr. Terrence. Mr. Terrence making this all possible for me. Couldn't have done it without him. I appreciate it. All right. We going fishing together, me and T. <laughs> he, he knows where all the brush is on Texoma, so I'm getting two for one on this deal. I got home with this boat, guys. It got chili on me, so I got my hoodie on. Sorry. Look what we got. We got a Minn Kota Ultrex. We got the All Aboard Marine transducer mount with perspective view attachment. That's awesome. This Ultrex right here comes remote controlled or pedal controlled. That's going to be great. A lot of deck space. Need to be cleaned up a little bit. Boat's a little dirty. Been sitting in storage a bit. Got a 200 horse Merc. Man, that sucker's nice. Jack plate. I want to see if I can get a hydraulic adapter for this particular jack plate without having to change out. If you guys know anything about that, if I can convert this jack plate to a hydraulic jack plate without having to actually switch everything out, let me know. I heard that there was some kind of adaption. Got the Lowrance, uh heading sensors already installed. It's got... Uh, and these compartments are pretty dirty because this storage building was leaking. And so there's some water got in here, kind of got down here. I got to clean it out, but got a compartment for four batteries, two fuel tanks. Um, got a three bank charger already installed back there. Got mo uh, dual live wells. We got dual storage compartments, one on either side. Uh, steering console. I've got already the mount for, I want a 12 inch Solix up here. I need to put the wiring cover back on for all the transducers. And again, rod lockers, storage compartments, just everything I need. Got trim and tilt on the console up here or on the bow up here. 202 Pro V, nice, nice boat. It's a big old nice boat. For me, this is a giant boat compared to what I've been fishing out of. It's got the hot foot. Look at that. So I got a gas pedal now. Woo, gas pedal. Guys, I heard rumors these boats fly. I heard these 
that these blazers absolutely fly. He said this boat does 80 miles an hour. That's what he said. Now, I don't know if I want to test that or not, but I really don't care. We're, we're going to get it out and see. We're going to get it out and see what it'll do. Heck, if it'll do 50, I'm happy. I think my little boat does like 20. So, well, it's nice, guys. Trailer's in good shape. Well, I'm going to trade that pontoon to this guy as part of the deal on this. And, and Terrence is a big, big supporter of the channel. And he really helped me out with this deal right here. Um, I couldn't have done it without the deal he made me and I, I really feel blessed that I met that man and uh, Good to know good to know him We're gonna honor him. We're gonna take this boat out and we're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna make some good videos We're gonna enjoy it together me and you guys All right guys, I'll get back with you when I start installing the electronics and getting this thing rigged out and we'll get it on the water 